Welcome to this video. Have you ever used tensile test results of elastoplastic materials like metals? How force displacement curve is measured? How to draw engineering and true stress strain curves? How to extract elastic constants of the material? And finally, how to calculate stress plastic strain curve and use it in our simulations. After performing tensile test on a specimen with a tensile test machine, we have the displacement of the jaw which was gripping the specimen, and also the required force for each displacement. At the first step, we are going to convert the force displacement curve to the engineering stress versus engineering strain curve. Imagine that this is the specimen before test, and the gauge length of the specimen is L0. During the test, the length is increased to the value of L. The engineering strain is defined as the difference between these two length divided by the initial length. Assume that A0 is the initial cross-sectional area of the specimen. The engineering stress is defined by dividing the current force by the initial cross-sectional area. Now we can redraw the curve as the engineering stress strain curve. We know that the real stress in the specimen is greater than this value because the area decreases during the test. The engineering strain is not also accurate due to change in the length of the specimen. To calculate true stress strain curve from the engineering one, at first we calculate true strain from the engineering strain. The true strain is the summation of incremental strains considering the instantaneous length of L at each displacement. So we can integrate the displacement divided by the instantaneous length during the tensile test. L divided by L0 can be expressed as 1 plus engineering strain, so we can write relationship between true and engineering strain as follows. To calculate real stress, we should divide the measured force by the instantaneous area of the specimen. But how could we calculate the instantaneous area? Fortunately, we can assume incompressibility for the specimen during the tensile test. This assumption is true for plastic region and deformations of elastic region are negligible. If the volume of the gauge length is constant we can express the new area based on the initial area and engineering strain. Finally, the true stress is calculated based on the engineering stress and strain. Please note that this equation is valid only before onset of necking in the specimen. Now we can draw the true stress strain curve. In our analysis or simulations, we need to the elastic constants of the material beside the plastic behavior. For an isotropic material young modulus and Poisson ratio are required. To measure the young modulus, we can use the slope of the stress strain curve in the elastic region. As deformations are small in this region, using the engineering or true stress strain curves leads to approximately the same results. Please note that, to measure the young modulus with sufficient accuracy it's better to use extensometer, and transverse strain gauge is required to measure Poisson ratio. If you like to measure the Poisson ratio, by capturing image of the specimen deformation, please watch our video about measuring Poisson's ratio by ImageJ software. To predict plastic deformations of materials, for example, simulation of the metal forming, we need to use the stress versus plastic strain curve. Imagine a point on the true stress strain curve of the material with a stress of sigma and total strain of epsilon. To calculate the plastic strain, at first we need to calculate the elastic strain at this point by unloading the material. The unloading slope is the young modulus. The elastic strain is the retrieved part of the strain, and the permanence part of the strain is the plastic strain. So we can write the plastic strain as now we can draw the true stress plastic strain curve using the true stress and plastic strain. This curve can be used in defining plastic behavior of the metals in Abaca software. Thanks for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment, or a subscribe.